Today we're going to be going through some new and exciting updates on Microsoft Teams. First of all, the new default settings for Office files. This new feature allows you to set a default method to open your Office files in Microsoft Teams, whether that is PowerPoint, Word or Excel. The options to view are between Teams, the desktop app or through a browser. You have the ability to override your default setting on a per file basis. To change this default setting, you'll need to go to your profile picture, select your settings, select general on the left, scroll to the bottom of the general section to files, and then there should be a drop down menu where you can choose between Teams, desktop, app, and browser. The default option will be the Teams app. The option to choose desktop app is only available when using the Teams desktop app for Windows or Mac and only applies to that device. If you're only using Teams on the web, you'll be able to choose between Teams and browser. You can override your default setting on a per file basis. Within Teams, click the more option ellipsis next to the file. Click open in and then you can then choose between Teams, desktop app or browser. This update should be available to us between late July and early August. Fluid live components in the chat. This new feature now allows end users to send a chat message in Teams which will include a fluid live component, for example a table, an action or a list. You have the ability to see people working on the component in real time. To co-edit a live component with other chat members, go to the box where you type a chat message and click on insert live components right beneath the box. You then can select the type of component you want to insert into your message. Make sure the box is empty with no other text in when you do this. Enter the content into the component, change permissions if needed. When ready, you can then send your message. Simply click inside the component and start typing. You can then see others editing with you in real life. This update is to be released and with us mid to late August. I hope this update was helpful and we hope you're just as excited as we are.